Have you ever found yourself in a sales situation where you're working with the prospect and you realize the level of respect between you and the prospect is starting to go lower? Maybe the prospect's being rude to you, short. Maybe they're just a point out jerk. Look, it's gonna happen. You can't be in sales and business without running into some people who are jerks. It's, it is what it is, it's going to happen. Here's the three mistakes you need to avoid when you're dealing with a difficult prospect and slash or customer because these three skills are applicable regardless of what point in the journey your customer is with you. They're a new prospect or they're one of your favorite customers. There's three mistakes to avoid when you are in a challenging communication situation with someone who, let's be honest, pays your bills, purchases your products, helps support your business. Number one mistake to avoid. Don't get into pissing contests. Don't talk about how talented you are. The number one thing that will piss a customer off is when a sales professional or business owner says something like this. Well, we've been in business for 36 years and I've never had this problem before. Don't tell me how to do my job. I've been doing this for 20 years. Out of the 100,000 customers I've signed up in the last 10 years, I've never had this issue. Any statement that you make that shows your credibility to your angry customer is actually making you look worse. It's making you look arrogant. It's making you look like you lack the basic people skills that are necessary to be effective in a sales position. So don't make that mistake of trying to say how talented you are, how credible you are, how big you are. All of those are arrogant filled. All of those are self-serving uh, responses, and they're going to do absolutely nothing to bring this conversation to an even playing field. The second mistake to avoid when you find yourself dealing with an arrogant or rude customer, here's the mistake. Don't just pretend it's not happening. Don't act like the person's not being rude. Have a clear conversation with this person and lay out the concerns as they happen. One of the favorite lines that I've shared with people when I realize somebody's being rude with me, whether it's a prospect, a customer, sales managers, I know you're listening, if it's an employee or sales reps, if it's your boss, the moment you realize a level of respect has gone down, I stop the conversation right smack on the dot. Do not be that person that pretends that conversation just didn't happen. Don't just try to go over it. Don't ignore it because if you ignore it, you're allowing the person you're working with to think it's okay to continue to disrespect you. Here's how you handle that situation. You simply say, excuse me, Mr. Jones, I apologize. I might have given you the impression that we were going to have a disrespectful conversation. If I've disrespected you in any ways, please let me know because I got to be honest with you. The tone you're speaking to me right now is a little disrespectful. I would rather us either take a few minutes, walk away, or B, let's change the direction of this conversation. You talk about sales accountability, you talk about being clear and professional, that's as clear and professional as it gets. Do not allow a prospect to disrespect you. Remember this, you value your customer's business. You don't need it. The moment you need their business, the moment you come off with that commission breath, you're asking for that level of respect to be thrown out the window. Don't do it. Don't allow someone to disrespect you and just breeze by it. And the third mistake to avoid, and this is a huge mistake to avoid, when someone is disrespecting you in a conversation, don't take it personal. I can't tell you how many times I've seen sales professionals and business owners take the conversation personal. They get in a pissing match. We talked about that. They get angry. They start cussing. They start yelling. They start saying a lot of different things. Or they take it so personal that they allow it to ruin their day. I got to be honest with you. You want to be a killer in sales? You want to be a mercenary in sales? You have to have thick skin. When someone is disrespectful to me, I view that as an opportunity to bring joy to this person's day, and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to kill this person with so much kindness because it's not going to affect me any time that I'm done with this appointment. The moment I'm done interacting with someone who's disrespectful, 
I no longer concern. I'm no longer concerned with that person. I no longer think about that person. I'm not going to allow that person to ruin my day because at the end of the day, you still are who you are in your core system. So don't allow a disrespectful customer to take you out of the mental state you're in. It is not personal. So three mistakes you want to avoid. Remember, it's not personal. Don't take a disrespectful conversation personal. Number two, don't allow the disrespect to go on for any amount of time. Don't allow your prospect, your customer, your employee to think it's okay to disrespect you. Tell them immediately. And the way you tell them is you apologize first. I'm sorry if I gave you this impression. And the other mistake to avoid, don't get into the pissing contest. I'm sorry for my language. I can't think of another phrase to say this to you. I just want to say we don't want to get into the me too. I don't want to get into my story is bigger than yours. I want to get into the I'm a, I'm a professional, you're not. It's not a it's not a yelling conversation. There's nobody's going to win in an argument. As a sales manager, I've had sales reps come to me with these issues and my response actually makes them upset cuz I say, "Do you want to win the argument? Do you want to get the sale? Or do you want to be happy with your life? Which one is it?" And if the answer is I want to win the argument, then that person's probably not the right person I want on my team. If they want to win the sale, I like the direction. I say, "Are you willing to sacrifice your happiness for it?" The answer is usually no. So if you want to be happy, don't allow someone to disrespect you. You can always get to the sale later. There's more customers out there. Not one customer has the right to have that much impact in your life. That's what I got for you this week. This is Catapulting Commission Sales Blog. I'm Anthony Garcia. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment. If you need help in this area or you're concerned that you aren't having the correct conversation with the sales, uh, your prospect, your sales customers, your sales employees, shoot me a DM. I'd love to hear your question. Bring it on the air. That's what I got for you this week. I'll see you next week.